In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a layout in BricsCAD. This is a drawing we previously made in the tutorial for how to make dimensions. Uh, we are going to lay out one and you already see that you have a viewport in the paper space. When you double click in the viewport, you can scroll in the model space. Now what I like to do when I'm doing layouts is to create another layer for the viewports. So here I'm in the layer dimensions, I'm going to type layer and make a new layer and name it viewports. I'm also going to give it another color, for example blue. So when I'm going back to the layout space, I'm going to change the viewport in the layer viewport. You can adjust your viewport by dragging the endpoints along or you can delete the viewport and create a new one. You can also make multiple viewports in one layout. So here I'm going to make our viewport smaller and copy a new one into the layout space. You can also add a viewport by typing the word viewport and you have a couple options here. Here I'm going to type polygonal to have uh, a viewport with a more complex geometry. With the cursor we are going to the title layout 1 and right mouse click and select page setup. The first thing you can choose is to select a printer. Here if you select in the plotter configuration editor you can see the printers I usually use uh, but normally I like to use the option print as PDF because that allows you to print directly to PDF and this is a way that you don't have to print to a printer and you can test print them to PDF and send them by email or just take a look at them on your screen and not waste paper. Next, I'm going to select my paper size. Here I want it to be in A3, so I'm going to choose ISO A3. And in millimeters, that's okay. Now we're going to use layout as our area and we are going to set the scale at 1 to 1. Going to the right hand side, you will find the plot style table. Uh, you can, for example, choose the option monochrome, which will make your drawing black and white. In the preview, as you can see, the A3 is in a portrait mode, so I want to slightly adjust that to landscape in paper space. You can do the same thing by clicking the options in the drawing orientation. For the plot options, I usually use the default settings, but when you have transparent elements in your drawing, you can click that one as well and click OK. Now since we changed the paper size from an A4 to an A3, you can see there is much more space in your layout. You can adjust your viewports accordingly uh, or you can make new viewports. To adjust the scale of the viewport, you can click on the viewport and change the annotation. In this case, it's going to be 2 to 1. If you double click into the model space of the viewport, you can still scroll around and change the scale. If you want to avoid that, just click on the viewport and go into properties, display lock and turn it into a yes. If you can see, if I double click in the viewport again and I'm going to try to scroll it, it will scroll the paper space instead of the model space inside the viewport. Now I'm going to another viewport, select the viewport and change the scale. 
to a to one for example okay the scale is maybe a little bit too big so i'm going to adjust it to four to one so for the next few part i'm going to set the scale as well and for the last viewport, I'm just gonna double click into the viewport and scroll the size of the drawing until I kind of like the look of it. And this is how you make your own layout. If you don't like the look of the frames from the viewports, you can always uh, go to layers and freeze the layer viewport. If you go back now, you can see that the frames are gone. But in this case, I kind of like the look of it, so I'm going to unfreeze the layer few parts again to make the frames visible. We have made our layout from scratch, but you can also insert a template to make your layout. Go with your cursor to layout 1 and right mouse click take the option from template. I'm going to select a title block that I made before. If you also want to learn how to make your own title blocks, you can find the link for the video tutorial in the description box. So after clicking that template, it will ask you what layout that I want to use. So here I'm going to use the A2 one. And the A2 file name will appear in the tabs. So click on that and you find the title block so if I double click in the viewport I can scroll around in the model space I'm going to click on the viewport to change the scale to 8 to 1 so here I'm just going to slightly adjust the dimensions to fit in the paper And in the title block, you can also adjust the titles, the dates, scale, client information, and architect information. I'm just quickly going back to layout 1 to give my A3 plan a title. I type in T for text and make the rectangle. I type in the name of the drawing, here it's going to be mechanical parts 1 and 2 and I'm going to adjust the size and there you have our title. And this is how you make layouts in BrexCAD. Thank you for watching.